Good evening, everybody. My name is Bobby Craft, and tonight we're building something pretty cool. I'm actually kind of excited about this. We're building Birdie the Bus. <laughs> I think that this guy looks pretty freaking cool. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit excited with how cool this guy looks. Like, I thought this came out really, really neat. And uh, yeah, I really want to show you how I came up with this guy. Um, so we're going to start with, I'm going to introduce you to a different type of building um, that I kind of, I guess, pioneered or whatever you want to call it. I have no idea. It's probably, somebody's probably done this before, but you know, hey, I think it's pretty cool. I've never heard of it before. So this is what we're going to do. Um, so we're going to start with an invisible bogey. This is just a standard steam and rails bogey. So we're going to place down one invisible bogey. From there, what we're going to do is we are just going to fill the area with lots and lots and lots of stuff. Loads, just load this up. I thought this was just the coolest thing. I thought of this randomly and how to build this and I was just like oh my god that is amazing all right so as you can see what I've done is I placed down a three three wide by one two three four five six seven long brick or concrete just bunch of concrete what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna grab some copycat layers and some copycat steps and we're gonna kind of go to town and I've got phantom rails underneath that birdie there just to kind of show what we've got going on here we will need to remove the rail in the front and the rail in the back the rail in the back because we're gonna be placing down these guys like that just some blank copycat steps for right now actually we can probably fill those in and then a copycat layer. Oh, that's right. That's not going to go there. So on the back side here, I'm going to place down another, uh, just a separate layer of... Let me get rid of that real quick. Just a separate layer of the red concrete. And then on the top of that layer, I'm going to place down the uh, copycat steps. Let's just place this guy back there perfect okay and then our copycat layers we're gonna place down uh, I believe it's two no it's three it's three because you want just a slight lip two three one two three and then we want to go ahead and place down one two one two one two excellent and then let's grab a, the mangrove glass and just place those, fill those three with mangrove glass. Basically what we're doing here is we've, ba we've made a giant block and we're going to kind of carve our way through this giant block, adding details and stuff as we go. And what we want to do next is we're going to grab some copycat um, panels is what they're called. And we're just going to kind of pepper this thing with panels. Literally just go nuts. Put panels all over this thing. Just like that. We'll even put some panels on the front because that's just the way it's going to be for right now. On the top, we're just going to place down a super easy roof because we've got this giant mess of blocks underneath it. And we're going to place down a bunch of layers so that way we can easily go back in and add and add to the layers and build them up and that sort of thing the next thing we want to do is we want to find our door our door exists somewhere in here so let's find it we found our door there we go perfect once we have our door what we want to do is we want to come in here and we want to go ahead and just get rid of as much of this red stuff, red, um, as much of these red blocks as we absolutely can. 
but you know what? We're actually gonna save this bottom layer just for right now. We'll get rid of that guy, but we're gonna save this bottom layer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come through here, get rid of all these rails really quickly, and we're gonna place down a copycat panel and just fill the bottom with copycat panels as well. So that way we can come in here and get rid of all of this stuff. Perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna place this back down. I'm gonna, while I was building this birdie, I had to get rid of the rails and the underneath a couple times. I don't think I'll have to again, but um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Alright, let's build our interior before we build anything else. I'm gonna grab a gray, light gray seat, as well as a gray, uh, me gray metal sheet, almost said metal, gray metal. And we want a copycat board, because we want something super thin. We're gonna place down uh, a layer of gray metal sheet like that to give us a floor. Oh. This is where our seats are gonna go. So what we wanna do is we wanna get rid of those guys and we're gonna place a seat where they would have been. Like so. Place down some temporary blocks get rid of those and then place down our seats the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna place down some copy kept boards just like so and the objective here is to try and get rid of um, these copycat panels oops crud all right copycat panel boom okay place the boards on top get rid of the panels underneath like so and there we go So we're slowly building ourselves a, a floor to our bus and that floor will be able to have rails underneath it so the next thing we want to do is we want to just repeat that same step again get rid of the panels underneath by placing boards on top of those panels okay our next step is we're gonna come in here and just copy up the black seat as well as the train controls and we want to get rid of that space there and place down a black seat and then we can get rid of this guy and we can get rid of this guy and we can get rid of this guy I believe what we want to do is we want to place that back though real quick that I can do this and just place a board underneath it like that so that way we have a board underneath our train controls which I believe go right there oh I've got this a little backwards just a little backwards okay so we want that guy to go there that guy to go there this board of course it's not gonna work of course it's not gonna work so we're gonna place that board like so get rid of that back in here 
clear the palette just a little bit so we can get this off our offhand. And we want to place that train controls, like right our train control right there. And then we're gonna place down a red concrete block right there. Now to shape the front of our bus. Actually, we do want to keep that layer there for right now. And we want to get rid of that right there. So we're going to shape the front of our bus now. And this is where it's going to be actually kind of cool. Because you get to, you're going to learn a pretty neat technique that's going to require you to build birdie and creative. He really can't be built in survival because unfortunately there is a barrier block that is utilized here and I'll explain why in a little bit. Um, but what we want to do is we're going to start with replacing our front of the bus here with some boards. So we want to place those boards on the inside. Oh, actually not on that guy right there. My apologies. So we want to do a board there and we can get rid of those like that. We can actually get rid of this and we can get rid of that. So see your birdie model is already starting to look like birdie. We're gonna place a piece of white sheet metal or white metal sheet inside of the front here to act as the grill, but also act as the face for your bus. And it just so happens to work out that, you know, the, the face, the quote unquote face, just looks like a grill for the bus. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a brass lamp and place that brass lamp on this side. And we're gonna break this block, this, this, and this. We're gonna come into our creative menu and we're gonna grab a hold of a copycat bite. I'm gonna place the red concrete in my offhand. And I want that built out to be just red concrete. And then I want black, where is it? I want this color, so it's a black metal sheet. And I want the black metal sheet to come out. So that way we're creating a stair, like so. Perfect. And then once we have our stair in place, what we're gonna do is we are going to place down um, gonna clear our palette just a little bit here place down one of these and then one of these 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 and what this block is is the grill black concrete is what that's called that's gonna shape our tire and I want to do this one more time to show you what I did I found the block that's right here underneath this last um, copycat bite that you just placed down. And we're gonna place a copycat bite here, here, and then a bite on either side of it like that. And you're gonna fill those in with the uh, grill black concrete because that looks like a tire. And then you're gonna take a copycat bite and place it there, 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 and there. Grab your black metal sheet and fill those in. And now you have Birdie's black hubcap. We're gonna grab a hold of a copycat half panel. And I'm gonna place down a half panel here, here, and here. Take the gray metal sheet and put that underneath Birdie's face and black metal sheet on either side. And then you have a pretty neat little bumper. Nice little shading effect to it. You're gonna take two blank copycat bites and set them like that. And you're gonna go into your creative menu and grab the uh, barrier blocks. And we're gonna go ahead and ditch the red concrete for right now because we can get that back easily. Right click the copycat bites with those barrier blocks and then they disappear. And it just looks like the front of Birdie in my opinion. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna get rid of that barrier block because we actually don't need it anymore. 
and we're gonna place down a few more red concrete copycat bites because we want to make sure that we have a row of copycat bites all the way back here to be able to help hide that uh, bogey that's sitting right there perfect the next thing that we want to do is we want to come back in here to our menu and we want to grab a copycat um, board and we're going to place a copycat board right here so that way we have the uh the illusion of this being like a closed i don't know closed off side whatever you want to call it place a temporary block and then we're gonna place down um let's see we can get rid of this we can get rid of this put our red concrete there and we're gonna place down one more copycat board like so we're gonna come into our menu and we're gonna grab the copycat half layer. We're gonna do something pretty cool with this copycat half layer. We're gonna place down a complete row or a complete half block, if you will, um, or whatever this is called, a slab, whatever you wanna call it, um, of the copycat uh, half layers. Place down one regular half layer shift click another full slab like this and placing down another copycat layer fill those in with red and this is where you should be with your birdie so far all right next thing that we want to do is we want to start adding in some color and some windows. So we're going to grab a hold of this railed red concrete to give that black stripe along the side of Birdie. Fill those in like that. And we're going to grab the mangrove glass as well as some regular glass. We're going to place our regular glass in the front and on our two half panels or half, um, half blocks, whatever you want to call these now that we've created with the half layers. And then we're going to place down for, for the rest of these windows, the mangrove glass. That's going to give us our six, six distinct windows. Well, seven in this case, because it's, you know, my model and that's what I'm building. Um, so four on this side and seven on the other. Birdie's going to be a little bit longer than normal, but it's fine. It works. It fits. It makes him look to scale with all the other locomotives and all that sort of thing. So that's what we're doing. Oh, yes. And that's right. So the reason we put down these barrier blocks here is without those barrier blocks, let me just show you. If we take, if we just put back in these guys like so, and we go boop, boop. And then we go like this and we go like that if we just have a stair we can't place that brass lamp for whatever reason it only lets you place these lamps or any lamp or any headlight or anything that i've been able to find on a whole block so the second i did this for example i was able to uh place down the full or the the lamp and then i thought to myself well what if barrier goes in there and what's that look like and sure enough it just hides those blocks you might think what if you put those barriers there well if you do that then it does this weird thing and i didn't like how that looks so that's what we're doing we're gonna not do that and completely forget that that's just gonna destroy everything oh my goodness okay like that and then like that perfect now to finish up we're gonna place down that window right there like so and then we're gonna actually place that guy and I believe I did glass there let me just double check I did I did perfect so now you've got your closed-in cab if you will of the, of the bus 
as well as the um, sort of ability to make it look like your driver's sitting in there. Again, I can't put... Um, Okay, here's what you might be thinking. What if you replace this block with a board? I tried that, then I can't move the train controls forward. And then the uh, the light, so the light would be on a board, sure, but at the same time, I can't put the train controls right behind it because that board still takes up a full block. So that's why the driver's seat is a little bit farther back, but it's okay, it's not a big deal. It really, really is not. All right, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create this cool illusion of a step that we've got here. And the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna place down... Hold on, let me think how I did this. I think I went like this, and then I went up like this, and then, yes, that's exactly what I did. Okay, so like this, like that. Those are all barrier blocks. And then you place those like that. And the steps are a different color because they're a little bit worn. People tread on them all day. They're a different color. So now you've got the cool effect of being able to walk inside a birdie. And yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're gonna do. The next thing that we wanna do is we wanna make the getting up into birdie look a little bit more realistic. So we're gonna add a handbar. And I just filled that handbar slot with a copycat vertical slice and put some white local metal in there. And that's what we did. Excellent. Our final step uh, in order to finish up our bus build is we are going to go ahead and just fill the roof in with some red concrete, like so. Grab the copycat layers as well as the copycat slice, and we want to bring we want to bring up the layers, uh, the layer of the roof. We want to go everything or the front. We want to go up to, and then the next row three, the next row three, three. Three, three, two, and then we place down a copycat slice. So it gives Birdie kind of like a slope of sorts, but it's Minecraft. You can't really make a slope too much. So that's what it's going to look like. Run a, oops, run a row of copycat slices filled with red concrete all the way along like that. Your final step, you can place down a couple of these blocks to represent the back tires. And then we wanna build our, um, other tire here for the front like so, whoops, these actually need to go back here. Why can't I do that? Oh, that's right. Tartar sauce, what did I do for the inside of here? Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right, okay. So we're going to go ahead and just boop down a layer like that. What was the color that I used? Look better. I better just grab it. Yeah, I did the, the gray metal sheet. Okay. Like that. And we're just going to drop down, place those gray metal sheets in. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let's do gray metal sheet. Do the tire. So that way we've got our tire. And then we want the 
Oh, I didn't actually do anything special here because I went like this and I took and I put a row of copycat panels down to be able to place or give it the effect that Birdie's tires are kind of sort of half hidden. And then I did the same exact thing on this side. Place that like that. And then there we go. I'm pretty sure that's everything. Yeah. Awesome. That's everything. To glue your birdie, it's just gluing in one simple motion. You're going to place down a temporary block there. A temporary block there. Make sure you have no other pieces of glue from any past projects. Like so. Right click one temporary block. Right click the other. And then your birdie is built. What you may come across is you won't be able to put him back into build mode just quite yet because you need to actually run some track all the way through so that it fills in and it allows for the um, rail to actually have or the wheel to actually have space on the rail behind it i don't know why it requires that but it does and there you go Let's just put this back in because there is one other detail piece that I completely forgot. When you place Birdie in and out of build mode, those brass lamps tend to just disappear. It's whatever. It's gonna happen. It's Minecraft. There are limitations. It's not a big deal. We're gonna place a copycat board here. And then a gray metal sheet. You can actually just do the light gray metal if you wanted to it's up to you it's your bus it's your build um but there you go that will help hide hide the back of that bogey a little bit more you will not be able to hide this and you won't be able to hide that so it is what it is um but yeah that is how you build birdie and make him work and do all the amazing stuff and things that a bus would do Boop. Boop. Cool. So if you like the video, please like the video and leave a comment, subscribe, all the stuff and things. It would be absolutely amazing of you. You guys are fantastic. I really appreciate you. The world is really shaping itself quite nicely. I've kind of grown really fond of the RWS characters, as you can see. And I haven't deleted Emily. There she is right there. Corner of my head. Uh, top left corner of my head right next to Gordon. So, yeah. Um, we'll be doing some more live streams and some stuff soon. Um, you know, I've just been super busy and everything. But appreciate you guys still being here and commenting and saying some really nice things. You guys are all amazing. And until next time, thanks very much and okay, love you. Bye!